Bonjour. Welcome to the Sunday brunch edition of The Good Life. I just told someone I was not nervous. I lied. Um, thanks to the TIFF for inviting the film and the programmers. All of my, I've had the privilege of having all my films programmed at the TIFF, and that means a lot to me. It also means that the audience had to read about 5,000 lines of subtitles over my last four <laughs> films, four friend films. So I thought I'd give you guys a break and do one in English. So that's why I went to Hollywood, if anyone asks. Um, 20 years ago, I went to South Sudan in 94 during the Civil War as a cameraman for a documentary. It was an overwhelming experience for a young 25-year-old guy, and the toughest part was leaving. We had to be evacuated one day because a loose cannon general was coming our way to steal the food the UN had just dropped for the starving people. And as I was lifting off in the plane, abandoning the people we came to, to film, uh, I felt um, there was a feeling of helplessness and guilt involved there. And um, two years ago, I had the opportunity to read this wonderful script from Margaret Nagel um, about the South Sudanese refugee known as the Lost Boys. And it was really like uh, an invitation to go back there in a way and finish the job that we started a way also to kind of redeem myself. So the script chose me and not the other way around. Margaret is with us today and I'd like to thank her. <clears throat> now this film is very much the result of a collective uh, will by the producers to bring the story to a wide audience. Um, I want to thank them for trusting me with their material. Uh, Molly Smith, um, Thad and Trent Luckenbill, Ellen Schwartz, Black Label Media, uh, Karen Sherwood and Kim Roth from Imagine Entertainment, with Ron Howard and Brian Grazer. Um, they were relentless in putting up together this complicated project that was shot in the United States, uh, South Africa, and, and in Kenya. And um, they were also, they had to suffer about 423 memos from, from myself during the night. Um, and, and they put up with my crazy ideas, one of which was to try to cast the Sudanese characters in the, real, in the Sudanese refugee community. So they gave us the mean to do this world casting tour uh, to find our, our guys. Uh, and I'm very proud of that. And I will, you know, I will be there at the end of the, the film to present them to you. Uh, so don't run away to see another film. <laughs> Why would you want to see another film anyway? Um, and of course we were blessed uh, by the multi-talented and this year uh, ubiquitous Reese Witherspoon uh, who came on board um, and that assured us that the, <laughs> the story would be, uh, you know, would be seen by a very wide audience but she's in the film because she's just a good, incredible actress. Um, and there's something that we have to remind ourselves today it's not my story, it's the Sudanese story. And although it's a beautiful story of survival, it's still very much happening right now in South Sudan. There's still a civil war going on. And, um, you know, all the politics aside, I think the people there, what they want is peace, durable peace. And I hope this film will, will bring that uh, issue uh, out there. And uh, lastly, have a great screening. I lied to you about the subtitles, there are a few in the film, <laughs> unless you know how to speak Dinka or Nuer. See you later. <laughs>